up you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel hi my name is melissa today i wanted to introduce you to my basset hound that i've been talking about for quite some time now and haven't really given you a proper introduction i do have a two-year-old or going on two-year-old basset hound his name is bentley and i just wanted to talk a little bit about you know things that you should know before you think of owning a basset hound and then i'll go and show you guys my bentley boy which he's right here staring at me i'm about to talk bad about him so getting straight into the video the number one thing is that these dogs are super stubborn and i thought i knew what stubborn was but i didn't until i got a basset hound so there's no joke when saying that basset hounds are very stubborn and i feel like it's a lot of things that come with that um, one of the things being that they're really good with scent their scent and stuff like they're really good on picking up different scents that's a real distraction for them especially when you're like walking walk training was a big deal with our basset hound he would just want to smell everything and anything and of course most dogs do that but this is like to an extreme level um, same thing with uh, training they just it's their attitudes. They just don't want to do anything that you ask them to do. So you have to like be very firm with them. They, you have to set rules. <laughs> I sound like I'm talking about a child, which is basically what it is. Touching more on the scent thing, uh, that's where training it does get easier with food. And it's just a hit or miss because my dog isn't tr treat motivated. Um, but they are food motivated. He does whatever he wants. The good thing is that he doesn't do much. So it's like a pro and con, I guess. If you just want a lazy dog, don't matter. Number two is they are a hound dog. So they're very loud, super loud. They're not ideal for apartments. I do not recommend having a basset hound if you have an apartment. They don't do much, which you would think would be great because they won't tear up your stuff and whatever, but they're very loud and they might upset your neighbors, uh, especially if they're alone, they're gonna get bored and that's what they do. Um, I get home every day and the first thing I hear is Bentley crying and I'm like, oh my God, my neighbors can hear him and I'm in a house. So imagine your apartment, you know them being in an apartment that I mentioned that they won't tear up your stuff or things like that. If they create a habit, let's say they do start tearing up your stuff and they create that habit, I feel like they just stick to it and it's really hard to get them out of it. Example, my Bentley, he has a bad habit of eating poop. And I have friends that have basset hounds and they say that they have the same problem. I don't know if it's a basset hound thing, but um, he eats poop and it's the hardest thing to get him to stop with that habit. From word of mouth, it's, it's all been the same. They all have that habit. So I feel like it's really hard for them to break habits as well. And um, once they start it, you're gonna feel the same way. Just kidding, hopefully not. But number three, this kind of ties into the first one because they. I feel like they're only howling if they're lonely. So number three is they're very social animals. Um, they're hounds, which they're usually better off in a pack of dogs. Um, the reason that he still howls, even though I have a pack of dogs, is because I keep him in a separate crate because uh, he's a boy and I have two girls. And not only that, but he right now is a puppy and he has a lot of energy. I just don't want him to be bothering them 24 seven. So even that he gets lonely and he barks and he howls and he's very loud. <laughs> But yeah, they're very social animals. They'll do really great impacts, very happier and outgoing and you know, play more when they're in packs. The bad thing is that you'll have to invest in another dog um, or not, you'll get a problematic dog. The fourth thing is a little bit more serious and down the road are their health problems. So they do get uh, elbow displacement, hip dysplasia, uh, they get ear infections because of their big floppy ears and then they also get skin and eye infections. Of course, disclaimer, this isn't all dogs. If you take care of your dog, 
of course, supplements and great nutritional diets and bathing and grooming and all of that, <laughs> then you most likely won't get this. Of course, I won't know till he's actually full grown. I'm scared about the elbow thing because if you guys didn't notice, most Basset Hounds, their elbows are like in. I think it's that they have more, they have more body mass than they have bone mass. So that's very disproportionate and it, their body mass weighs down on their bones, especially on their legs because I mean, that's what help holds them up. That's what I'm most scared of when it comes to him in the future when he gets older. But um, just, you know, precaution, don't let him jump up and down and don't let him do like vigorous, high intensity things. And I think he should be fine. I mean, if you have an older dog, please let me know too. And leave it in the comments. Maybe some people can look to the comments and find something that's helpful. Oh, and obesity is a large thing with these dogs too which does not help um, with the things that I just mentioned. But of course, uh, my dog is very uh, social with our other dogs and he is very energetic. So for now, he's actually pretty skinny. I get kind of like upset that he's as skinny as he is, but it's very prone for them to get obese very quickly. So my fifth thing is, depends on your lifestyle, if it's good or not, is that they're lazy and they won't do anything they are stubborn so they won't want to do anything i feel like this applies more if they're alone but even so they are a pretty lazy breed they're not meant to do high intensity things they are hunting dogs and uh usually track out scents and then let their dogs let their dogs and then let their owners know when they have found something with their loud howls um, and that's pretty much all they were bred to do I mean if, especially if they aren't put to do that work then they're not gonna do much and from my experience that's true when I leave my dogs outside you just see him sniffing outside everywhere basically the whole perimeter of the house that's how he entertains himself uh, he doesn't really like to do anything else he'll chew on toys ever now ever so often but compared to my other dogs who like uh, run around the house for their own entertainment, he's not like that. He's more laid back. Further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Bentley. I'm kind of talking low because my son is asleep, but I took this away from him because he was just chewing on it and it was making a lot of noise. So he's upset with me right now. He's just sleeping. Bentley. Bentley. I'll go do it. Oh, oh my god, you got a fast. Bentley. Yay, good boy. So this is Benley. He's about to be two years old. He's super sweet. Just doesn't listen. He just doesn't listen. But he's really cute. Look, let's see if he'll stay for us. Sit. Stay. Stay. Just want to show you a whole view of him. <laughs> okay. But um, yeah, he's really cute. So this is him. He's going to be in our future videos. So stay tuned for that. He's very calm, which is also a good thing about them. I know I didn't say a lot of good things, but there are some good things about you. But he's so cute. I like, I know it looks like wrong. I mean, it probably is wrong. I'm sorry, but they have such stretchy skin. And I just like to pet him and stretch his skin out. And then they have really big, big ears, which is really cute. So yeah, that's Bentley. Say hi, Bentley. Oh, hold on. He's like, why did you pet me like that? That's him. So see? So that's all that I have for you guys today. Also leave some positive things because they are positive things, of course, owning a bass hound. I love my bass hound. He's super sweet and he just is a joy. He's very uh, clumsy, which is also a bad thing, but it's very cute. That's basically it when it comes to good things. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, they're loyal dogs and they're super fun to interact with. So also leave some good things down below. I want to see your stories and how your basset hounds are. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys back here so you can see Bentley more in our vlogs and entertaining videos that I do with the other dogs. But besides that, thank you guys so much for watching once again. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!